Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 11th anniversary, a special binder for Super Dreamable Heroes. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty special one. Uh, I did a video like this last year with the 10th anniversary uh, version. So yeah, like the last one, this is about 10,000, this was 10,000 yen to buy. So yeah, pretty expensive. Uh, but yeah, pretty uh, nice. So yeah, definitely good quality. So first of all, this is the binder. So yeah, just uh, a bit of view of that. Actually, I might just uh, pull this up. So here we are. So you can see you've got Goku on the front and Super Saiyan. It's obviously from the Namek uh, Planet Namek Battle. And uh, on the back, we've got the design of Freezer. But at the moment I can't really see it, so I'll just uh, cut. So you can see Freezer in his full power form. So yeah. Definitely uh, quite a nice looking uh, binder, if I do say so myself. So yeah. Okay, and then inside, the main events. I'll just first of all show. Uh, so yeah, so just uh, kind of these rings for the binders, kind of uh, the sleeves. And then uh, here we are with the sleeves themselves. Just put that at the back. Very nice. All right, uh, so yeah. Freezer is in here, and uh, you can see the cards as well as uh, some kind of special uh, little. I guess these are the card sleeves here. Yeah, these are kind of like the pages of the binder, actually. But yeah, open those up. So yeah, so there are ten uh, normal kind of cards, uh, all secret areas, which is pretty nice, and uh, plus one uh, hero avatar card. So you can see the pages here. I think it's about ten of them. Uh, so yeah. This on the side. Yes. And these are the kind of cars leaves. So yeah, length anniversary. Uh, top left there. Yeah, pretty nice. Kind of red design, like the binder. Red and black kind of. Yeah. I think there's about 30 of these, I think. So yeah, decent amount of... Maybe, not 10, maybe, maybe 10, I'm not sure. But a decent, decent number nonetheless, I think. It's pretty, uh, yeah, pretty nice. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, cards. So definitely uh, some good looking cards in here, and some, some strong ones as well, which is uh, always nice. So first of all, and this time, unlike the last time, uh, last time they are just in these uh, pages here. This time they're in their own, uh, I guess, packets, which is pretty nice. So first of all, this is the uh, Avatar card, it's the Harry Avatar. So you've got uh, Beat in his Ultra Instinct Omen form, as well as uh, Goku, in, uh, also in Ultra Instinct Omen. So yeah, very nice card, I think. Definitely one of the best uh, Avatar cards they've done, I think. Does look very nice, you know. And yeah, the back. Standard kind of back for these Harry Avatar cards. Yeah, but yeah, definitely a nice one. Definitely going to use it uh, going forward. And uh, before I show the other cards, uh, here's just a little uh, kind of card case. So just put the cards in. Um, quite a small one. Uh, but quite nice, can you see the again the anniversary kind of logo uh, with Ultra Instant Goku and yeah. So usually I, I have a few of these, but they're all kind of uh, plastic, you know, hard plastic. This one seems to be kind of leather. Yeah, I got soft leather. It's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, maybe just put the cars inside here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, pretty nice case. Pretty nice card case, I think. Yeah. Some good stuff in this uh in the set. So yeah. Okay, so first up we have Kid Goku. Uh so there's uh, again there's ten of these secret cards and uh, they're all kind of in pairs. So each of them has uh like the hero kind of character and then like the evil kind of character, the villain character. So you can see the Kid Goku's got uh King Piccolo. So yeah. So kind of matching uh pairs, I guess. Yeah. Pretty nice card, I think. Design wise, obviously doing like the kind of move here's to kill um Capicolo. yeah, pretty nice. And uh, in terms of his ability, so his uh, main ability, uh, it's a one-time use, and uh, whenever he goes to support support area, uh, he recovers five thousand HP of your team, and uh, if it's uh below, 
if you have less than 50% health, then I think it's doubled. Either way, the effects increase. So I think it's probably 10,000, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's pretty strong, I think, you know. Basically, health, re health regeneration. But again, it's only one-time use. And he's got a dragon, ultimate dragon fist uh, for his card action ability. And uh, the extra effects, uh, he gets uh, 8,000 more power. And also, he gives you two hero energy. So yeah, decent card, I think. I think amazing, but yeah, it could be nice just for the H HP regeneration. So yeah, nice. Then we have the uh, evil uh, villain, Takao no Goku. Goku. We have the Demon King Piccolo. See, you can see that the kind of two cards are very, uh, very similar. You know, just kind of same design, but I guess just different. You know, just different places. I guess. But yeah, I quite like it because um, yeah, definitely uh, is kind of a unique thing they've done. I guess where it's like kind of matching. So yeah, so yeah, obviously just similar design. And his ability, so he has one where it's uh, on the sub second turn, uh, his power and guard triple, uh, and he also uh, can use his super attack without any energy. So even if he has zero energy, he can still use his super attack. Uh, and it costs eight energy, so that's pretty good, you know. It becomes zero, it's pretty strong. And uh, also, he's got a burst. So obviously, using his uh, super attack with no energy is great for his burst because uh, his burst uh, gives he basically does thirty uh, three not thirty thousand sorry three thousand extra damage when he attacks. Uh, so yeah, easy to pull it off when you have no no energy requirement. You know, so it's pretty strong. I think yeah, definitely a good one. I think yeah, yeah, nothing amazing, but it's just quite easy to use. I think which is uh, always nice. So yeah, so that's the first two. Then the first uh, kind of pair. Next up, we have. Uh, Probably the best looking one, maybe, potentially. This is a Super Saiyan Goku. So again, it kind of matches, you can see it matches um, the you know, art on the uh, binder. And you've got the freeze in the background, which again matches the uh, art on the back of the binder. So yeah, very, very nice design, I think. You can see very, it's very nice, right? Just the kind of gold aura, you know, very cool. And uh, his ability, uh, so every turn, uh, if he attacks at the end of the round, uh, if you have less uh, HP than your uh, enemy team, uh, all your characters will regenerate key, so they get their stamina back. Um, and you also get one energy, so again, uh, not bad, but I think it's not amazing, because, you know, uh, one energy is not that much, and just just key. It's nice, but I don't think it's that much when he gets back, you know. Um, but yeah, very nice looking card though. And uh, his lock on, you've got an ultimate lock on, and uh, the effect is that the enemy takes double damage uh, from this lock on. So yeah, not bad. But again, nothing amazing. But yeah, illustration wise, um, card design wise, I think it's probably the top one. Just looks really good, you know. All right then, the counterpart we have the full power freezer. So again, kind of similar, well, actually the same, you know, designs, just different uh, places, I guess. Yeah, nice. And uh, his ability, uh, at the start of the third round, all the enemies lose all their key. Which is pretty strong, right? And they also lose three energy. So that's really strong, right? Just can't do much at all, third round. Uh, and his uh, touch action ability, or maybe I'm not sure. Is it, I think it's either cut action or well, touch damage, but I'm not sure. But either way, uh, it's like the Goku's one. The enemy takes double damage. That's the extra effect. So again, pretty strong. So yeah, I think it's very strong because of the uh, third round ability. That's just very good. All their key and three energy lost. That's pretty pretty damn powerful, you know. Okay, next bit. So this is also in a very nice looking card. This is uh, Super Saiyan Two Teen Gohan. With a uh, perfect cell in the background, or should I say, super perfect cell? So yeah, it's so again very nice looking card. Very going, just screaming there. It's cra pretty crazy, but yeah, nice. Doing the uh, father son coming home here. And uh, his ability. Uh, so when he attacks and he managed to win his uh, CI when he's attacking, uh, for every five thousand power level you have on your team. Uh, he'll do an extra 1,000 damage. So say 
For example, if you have 50,000 power level, right, uh, and you, you know, manage to win his uh, CI, he'll do an extra 10,000. So, you know, if you have like 530,000 power level, for example, then he's going to do like, you know, 100,000 plus damage, which is pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Potentially doing a lot of damage. So he does need to win the uh, CI. Uh, and he's got a Z uh, uh, connection ability. And uh, with this extra effect, everyone who has the Z unit on your team, uh, they'll they'll get an extra 3,000 power level just like uh, fixed. It's pretty strong, right? So say if you have five dudes with a Z and he uses his one, then that's, you know, 15,000 extra power level. That's pretty strong, right? These Z is not amazing, but back in the day, that would have been amazing, right? But the meta's changed so much that it's kind of like <laughs> not that, not that person anymore. But still, I think it's pretty cool. And again, very nice uh, card art. So yeah. Right, and here's a counterpart card. We've got the perfect cell. Uh, so yeah, very green, <laughs> very green aura. And like Gohan's yellow. So yeah, I think very nice. Just uh, really just reminds you of the classic beam struggle, right? So yeah. Good noise. And uh, his ability. Uh, so this is the same as the uh, uh, Frost you are back in the day in Go Mission 8, I think. Uh, so basically, so this is automatic. He doesn't need to attack. He can be either attacking or supporting. Um, if the enemy's attackers have a total of 20,000 power or more, uh, they'll all take 50% uh, more damage that turn. So yeah, basically a little bit more damage to him, which is, which is nice, you know. And uh, he's got a double Kamehameha, and the effect is that uh, him and his partner do extra key damage, so it's easy for them to stun guys. Nothing amazing, um, but again, just nice uh, with the Gohan in the background, <laughs> raging out. It's cool. Okay, so only four cards left now. Next up we have Vegito, Super Saiyan, uh, when he fought Super Buu. So again, very nice design, you can see kind of electricity around him and stuff. And uh, he's in the Spirit Sword, yeah, very nice. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, his ability, uh, when he wins his uh, charge impact, so this is either attacking or defending, uh, he gets 2,000 power and guard, and also one hero energy. Uh, and if it's a perfect, then it's a power worker. The effect is increased. Um, I'm not sure what the increased effect is, but I'm guessing maybe 5,000 power and guard and 3 energy. I'll say that'd be pretty good, right, if that's the case. Because um, it's only for himself, the power and guard. Boost and uh, he's got a uh, what's this one again? Uh, Gang Gang Impact. Uh, and uh, the extra effect is that uh, all the guys in this, like in your kind of attack, because you can basically it's himself and uh, three other of your allies, so four guys in total, uh, they all get uh, a 50% damage boost to their super attacks. Uh, and that's permanent, so that's pretty good, right? So just a bit more damage on their super attacks. Uh, after you use it, right? So yeah. Again, I don't think this guy's anything special, but yeah. Card I just can't be beat, right? Just a very nice looking card. Right, and uh, his counterpart, we got uh, Super Buu with uh, Gohan Absorbed. So yeah. Looking nice and sinister. <laughs> And uh, his ability, uh, so at the end of, well sorry, at the end of, during the power level battle, uh, for every energy that you lost uh, up until the point that round, so say if you lost three energy before uh, the power level battle that round, uh, then for every energy, the enemy attackers, you'll uh, uh, basically steal their power, so 1,000 for each uh, energy you lost. So say if you lost three energy, you'll take 3,000 power from each of the enemy attackers, and that's permanent, so yeah. Quite a situation, quite a difficult ability to use, I think. Um, yeah, but it could be powerful depending on like who you're fighting, right? Yeah. Uh, and so it was sparking, and the extra effect uh, is that for I think it's based on how little energy the enemy has. So I think if they have zero energy, then it does like the most damage. I think that's how it works, at least. You see that based on how much they have or how little they have. Yeah. This guy um, could be strong, but I think it's kind of hard to use, but. I guess time will tell if he's uh, good or not. Okay, so two cards left now, and these are probably the two strongest in the set. 
so first of all, we have a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta GT. Uh, you can see Megatron on smiling in the background there. Obviously, it's kicking away the uh, negative energy combo ball. So yeah, I think it's between this and the uh, Super Saiyan Goku for the best uh, card art, in my opinion. Yeah. Very nice looking card, I think. And uh, for his ability, uh, so first of all, he basically cancels out the ability of the Mega Shannon in this uh, binder. So if that's on the enemy team, uh, and you have this card on your team, then you know it will cancel out his ability. Um, but his main ability is that uh, when he's attacking, uh, for every hero energy you have, uh, your LA attackers will get a uh, thousand power and guard. So if you have ten energy, that's you know plus uh, ten thousand power and plus ten thousand guard for each of your LA attackers. And if any of them have less than a hundred power, it'll be double that. So two thousand, two thousand, and then with ten energy, twenty thousand and twenty thousand power guard each. That's pretty damn good, you know. Just a lot of stat boosts. And uh, for his uh, bedrock crash, the extra effect is that the enemy, uh, basically, you have their power level and also have their power. So their power and power level are cut in half. That's pretty, pretty strong to see. Um, yeah, definitely good, I think. Okay, last but not least, we have Omega Shenron. Uh, you can see he's preparing the uh, negative energy combo ball, and Gogeta is about to deflect it. So again, very nice uh, design. Yeah, just looks real good. You can see the stats are pretty good. He's got 3,700 for HP, 8,000 for power, and 1,000 guards a bit low, but he's a berserker, so it's not that surprising, right? So yeah. And ability-wise, so his ability is really strong. Uh, that's why, you know, the Gogeta is there to kind of cancel that out. Uh, so basically, inside of the battle, all the enemy's uh, card action and touch action abilities are basically cancelled. They can't use it. Um, unless you have that Gogeta in the enemy team. But if, it's not the, if, if that isn't the case... Uh, then uh, he needs to take your, well, your, this team that has this card, right? They need to take at least 2,000 uh, damage. And then at the end of whatever round they took their damage in, uh, the ability will stop working. But uh, basically, if you don't have the Gogeta in the enemy team, that's first round at least that's guaranteed, and they can't use uh, card action or touch action abilities. They can't use Gold Meteor. They can't use Kiesel Lock, um, which are probably the two biggest ones. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's unlikely that it won't deactivate at the end of the first round because 2,000 isn't a lot, right? It's pretty easy to do 2,000 damage, right? Um, but yeah, that's still pretty strong. It's pretty the strongest one. Um, even with the Gogeta um, around. It's all very good, right? And uh, yeah, and uh, his ultimate energy is uh, basically it lowers the enemy's guard to one and also it stuns them. Um, unless they can't be stunned, right? It's again, a very strong card. Um, yeah. Can't use this guy because he's pretty damn powerful. But, yeah. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I've been waiting about five months for this uh, binder to arrive, so yeah. Been a long wait, but it was worth it in the end. <laughs> so yeah, um, thanks guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.